everybody, Skyler here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Elon Musk talking about Bitcoin. He actually called it a quite brilliant structure and uh, mentioned that it's much better than paper money and uh, mentioned a few other things. I actually recorded the conversation um, from their site and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to even put it up, but I'm going to put it up at the end of this so you can listen to it and... If they tell me to take down the video, I'll, I'll take down the video. I'm not even doing ads or anything, so um, whatever. Um, that being said, I I do want to be compliant, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So essentially, uh, he was on a podcast with uh, advisory services firm Arc Invests, and they were talking about um, you know most of the podcast they were talking about Tesla and and um, you know, and uh, what they're doing this year when it comes to the autonomous vehicles being completed by the end of this year, and um, and all that stuff. But at the end, they they dived into Bitcoin, and and uh, he he kind of laughed at the idea that 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 they wanted to talk about Bitcoin, but he he said that he's not involved in crypto, he doesn't do anything with that, and his company doesn't have any interest because his company's interest is, you know, energy savings and, you know, and, and you know, uh, you know, getting rid of, you know, f f getting more fuel efficient vehicles and, you know, uh, all that sort of stuff. And, and, uh, and then he mentioned that Bitcoin is really uh, it, it uses a ton of energy and so he's like that's just not what we're about and everything and you know and um, even though he 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 seems like he doesn't really pay attention to it I'm I'm sure he knows about Lightning Network because him and Jack he also uh, made a joke because everyone was talking you know all the ETH scams and Bitcoin scams over the past couple of years he made a joke about you know, hey, does anyone want to buy any Bitcoin? And, and, and you know, Twitter suspended his account. And, you know, him and, and Jack exchanged um, some words. And so, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I know he, he, he knows about the, the stuff. I just, uh, he, he just doesn't have any interest to incorporate it in his company. Now, he did end up mentioning that uh, uh, the host of the podcast, they were talking about how, uh, it's a much better use case for money in places like Africa uh, when the exchange rates for currency are so high and and that's when uh, Elon Musk said that that um, that it's much better than uh, paper money let's see where's the quote um, it bypasses currency controls paper money is go paper money is going away and crypto is far better way to transfer value than pieces of paper that's for sure so he understands it um, for sure. Last February, when um, he tweeted he owned 0.25 Bitcoin, and he said that his friend gave it to him. And outside of that, he doesn't own any cryptocurrency whatsoever. Um, but uh, but yeah. So um, you know, there's uh, previous major industry players also argued that Bitcoin occupies a unique place to store value or digital gold like Mike Novogratz. So Mike Novogratz, he uh, came from Goldman Sachs. Uh, he actually, I believe he had the largest crypto hedge fund. Um, I think he has the most successful one to date. Uh, I believe he had the most money into crypto before the boom, and that's how he got there. But uh, he's super pro. Also, the Twitter of uh, sorry, the CEO of Twitter, also the CEO of Square, um, Jack Dorsey. Um, you know who's well known for his conviction in Bitcoin, uh, and he has also been quoted saying that it's going to be the native currency of the internet, um, and. Uh, He's also said that Bitcoin feels it's the one that wants to be the currency the most versus the others that are doing more general purpose things or distributed computing. I think the altcoin space has generated some really amazing ideas, but I'm focused on the currency and the transactional aspect. So, um, I don't know. So, it's not bad news. It's not good news. Uh, you know, um, I mean, yeah, uh, Elon Musk did talk, you know, pro about, 
you know, what Bitcoin is doing when it comes to the problems that it's solving, but he did talk negatively on the energy aspect. That being said, you know, we are, you know, going through Lightning Network and, you know, different things to change that. We're very new in this um, industry and, and plus all the power, you know, I, I'd be interested to see a, a power very a power distribution of what Bitcoin does with power versus what you know Visa does with power with all their servers and all the trucks and employees and buildings and everything they have to do to keep their um, their um, network going. So, at any rate, uh, um, I, I I I'm I'm really excited about this space. I, I feel like we're so. Uh, if you were to compare this to the internet, um, the internet was actually written down and thought about, and you know, and tried to get figured out in the you know 70s, and it was talked about even before that. But and then you know the 80s is when they started building hardware together, and you know, and the 90s was when they started releasing really all these websites, and people were calling the internet a sham and and you know it's only used for you know moving drugs and doing illegal stuff and then late 90s took place and then the boom happened and everyone dropped a ton tesla or uh, amazon went from over 112 bucks to under 12 bucks um and uh and now it's over 2000 around there but um but anyways and then obviously ever since 2000 on the internet has been accepted into daily life so bitcoin's 10 years old so if you want to liken that to the internet then we are in the 70s late 70s or so so maybe even 80s beginning 80s or so i don't know but we haven't even like hit that big boom yet now again i mean i didn't say this already but you know bitcoin doesn't have to follow the internet when it comes to that but with the way that that bitcoin is solving problems in the world and and all the the changes it can do if people adopt it um it, it has power to be bigger than the internet i feel like so at any rate and and many others feel that way too but anyways um so I'm going to play the recording now, and I might have to take this off. I don't know if they tell me to. I don't. Again, I don't know the rules of this. I don't want to break any. So if they tell me to take it down, I'm just going to take it down. But um, but he, he speaks about it for about two and a half minutes. But before I go f uh, move on, I just want to let everybody know that I do make these videos every single day. So if you're interested in the space, um, you know, like and subscribing is not a bad idea. Um, I'll just send the video now. I super appreciate everybody <laughs> who's watching. And uh, yeah, here's the video. I have a little bit of a different question for the, it's a little bit off topic, but it's in the news or it's becoming more in the news. Uh, so it's about crypto, crypto assets, crypto, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> crypto, uh, seriously? Chris, seriously, seriously, very seriously. I think you and Jack Dorsey have chatted a bit uh, recently about this, right? Bitcoin and Ethereum scammers were so rampant on on uh, Twitter that I, I said I'd just join in. <laughs> it's like... I said like one point, want to buy some Bitcoin? <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, that. And then I got, my account got suspended. Because <laughs> oh, no. they obviously had like some automatic rule that would, if you try to sell Bitcoin oh, or no. something. <laughs> but I was just joking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So my, my, my question is a little, it's a, it's a little different from cryptocurrencies. Although given your history in the payments ecosystem, it would be very interesting to know if you agree with Jack and there is going to be one name. Of, uh, cryptocurrency when it comes to the internet. He thinks it's Bitcoin. It's, it's interesting. I have some friends of mine that are kind of really involved in crypto. I mean, I think like the Bitcoin structure was quite brilliant. Yeah, it seems like there's some merit to Ethereum as well and, and maybe some of the others. But, you know, I'm not sure. It's like, I'm not sure that it would be a good use of Tesla resources to get involved in crypto. I mean, we're really just trying to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy and I mean, I think actually one of the downsides of crypto is that it, computationally, it's like quite energy intensive. So like there had to be some kind of constraint on the creation of crypto. So, but it's very energy intensive to create like the incremental Bitcoin at this point. 
Yeah, but at the at same, by the same time, there were one point three trillion dollars worth of transactions in Bitcoin, and we don't see it here because it's not for pizza or Coke. It, it's business <laughs> to business Might in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we think it is business to business in Africa, where it is prohibitively expensive to convert from one nation's currency to another. You have to go through the dollar. The, I mean, it really is very important to it's money over IP for them. It's free yeah. transmission of money. And that's yeah. really important to opening up the world. And, you know, it, you know, yeah. it bypasses currency controls. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's well, and uh, if, yeah, it, I, paper money is going away. Yes. Um, and crypto is a far better way to transfer value than than pieces of paper. That's for sure. Without a doubt. That has its pros and cons. Just to clarify, Tesla's not going to start selling Bitcoin. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, you no, heard it no. here first, even though everyone thought that. No. <laughs> so, no, well, we, we thank you so much for yes, doing this. You. And thank you for just doing what you're doing to change the world and make it a better place. Like, you know, that's what we're huh. doing in terms of it. No, seriously. I always think of Silicon Valley that, you know, comedy. <laughs> Have you seen that that show? It's pretty um, funny. I'm, I'm sure I didn't. But, <laughs> it's like literally every company. <laughs> sure, every time I come says that. That. pretty often. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. what people say. Yeah, like literally no. every company. Oh, okay, well, but you're really doing it, and you're really like, doing making it. Making the world a better place by social mobile. Yeah. Oh, no, no, crypto. No, no, no. This <laughs> is this is so different. This is so different. We totally agree with you. <laughs>